Hey race fans, thanks for joining me on the channel. It's been a while since I've made a video. I thought I'd start with a new quest and that is to uh, start playing some daily races again. It's been a while since I've really played those. And what I'm doing is basically documenting my uh, practice and my races, um, showing you that right now I'm 13th. I forget how far off I was in qualifying maybe around I don't know uh, eight to ten seconds so I'm using that as a marker to uh, track my progress hopefully I can win a daily race on here and show you guys that uh, you can start off in the 13th place and as you practice properly and you're really uh, dig into what you need to do to get better that you can get better and win one of these races okay so without further ado let's check it out so I'm driving the uh, Huracan GT3 2015. I'm gonna go over to Sport. If you have never tried a daily race before, that's what you gotta do. And it's the B race. So why don't I just jump in and we'll just see. Uh, I'm gonna change my tires here to medium. Am I gonna get it in time? Uh, yeah, so let's just see. Since I already did this race this morning, I should have some recollection. I was having a problem with my braking points, especially down that long first straight. Um, as well, I was just losing focus. I This is basically my first time going to uh, record a video while I'm actually racing. So that's another thing that's going to come out of this. Hopefully I will get better uh, actually talking while I am making live content basically so let's see what happens okay so the number one qualifying time is 138 and 144 is number 12 I'm number 13th I don't have a qualifying time I never qualified actually this morning either uh, what kind of cars do we have here? Hurricanes, NSX, 911s, R8s from the Hurricane, 911, an RCF, Supra. Okay, so we got a good mix of cars. Um, on some races, what I remember before is everybody in the top five would have the same car, and that's a good indicator for you if you're trying to figure out what car you should use if you've never done one of these before. But I'm going to go with the Huracan. I just like driving it. And I'm going to be driving a lot of the cars that I like. It doesn't matter what anybody else has. That's why we play this game, right? Just drive what you like. All right. Okay, so we're about to start here. Now, my goal, my goal is to finish at least one place higher. So I'm actually starting in 14th place. So let's see if we can convert that to a number 13. Hope to keep it clean. Gotta stay off the uh, marbles. Find the right breaking point. Since I never actually had a test right now, I'm gonna just have, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stay behind the guy in front of me and uh, see where he breaks. Basically watch his lights. Okay, so we're off. I'm gonna break a little bit earlier since I don't want to go off. A little bit of carnage. Uh, I'm on the grass. Okay, so I lost a spot, so I'm in last place, just like that. Again, that's that not knowing where my breaking point is. Some jostling going on up ahead, that's good. Let them battle it out. On the track, keep it on the track. And yes, I am still using my slip angle. I've actually upgraded to the 200 amp model from the 100. This is a tough breaking zone for me this morning, too, right here. All right, survive that one, lap one.
Yeah, and what I'm finding in the 200 amp version is just a uh, seems to be a fuller um, a fuller feel. I guess the 100 amp one was I guess thin. Off the track again. But I gotta stay with this guy. Uh, trouble behind. Is that what it is? I gotta try to stay behind and get the slipstream from him. So it looks like I'm in 13, so I guess somebody dropped out. Cool. Yeah. Okay, so let's take advantage of this. Breaking early, because this is the one spot that I don't want to go off. Okay, so I gotta work on being short on the brakes, long on the gas. Okay, I'm in 12th, somebody up ahead wiped out, so that's good news for me. Get off those marbles. And the lead driver is 19 seconds ahead of me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. If you hear that rattling, that's my uh, slip angle. And this, whoa, what's going on up there? This race is with medium tires. Okay, so now the lead driver is 22 seconds ahead. So this guy is flying. And I'm not. My first lap was 156.066. Let's see if we can do better. Yeah, 147. So a little better. Okay, so that's cool. I'm just so far behind these guys. Have you noticed that when playing the AI in GT7 that it's actually getting more aggressive? Or is that just me? Because I'm aggressive and don't mind a little contact and the AI has figured out my style of driving? Or do you think the AI is just harder in general? Which is good because it makes it it makes it uh, better for driving against real people. Because I remember when I used to do some daily races before, and the reason, one of the reasons I got out of it was people were just crashing for no reason. And so I got fed up, and so I left. And I'm hoping to make... Uh, uh, and there it is, I got screwed up and I got passed by this guy. I'm not keeping it consistent. And he just waited his turn and made a nice simple pass on me. Patience usually does it. Oh, and he's gonna go a little wide there. He saved it. Okay, down 12th out of 14th. Mm. Yeah, the spot is one where I want it to be, but it's technically not because I didn't pass anybody. Okay, so now I'm 32 seconds and now I'm getting passed by this guy. How, what is going on here? Okay, this guy's gonna try to come up on the inside of me. take an aggressive turn there so that he wouldn't cut me off on the inside. Lap 
four out of five, and he's coming up on the outside now. Oh, pass me. His brakes worked nicely because he broke way deeper than I did. And he made the turn no problem. So that tells me I've got to do something about my setup to figure out how I can brake later. And then beyond the gas, he's way ahead of me. Yeah. Okay, last lap coming up here. And again, I'm going wide. I gotta remember slowing fast out. So now the lead guy is 43 seconds ahead of me. And this lap, I did it in 150. Okay, so not my best lap, but better than my first lap. I just, I just don't have the grip. I just don't have the grip. Oh, somebody crashed, all right, cool. Now I gotta make sure that this guy does not uh, catch me. Oh, okay. Tires are not working right now because I cannot keep the car on the track. So now I'm breaking even earlier, still going off. Okay, this is good though. It gives me a lot of things to work on. And as long as I stick with it, I have no doubt that I will get better and not be... Oh, oh my gosh. Got the tractor going. I'd not be 48 plus seconds behind. Oh, somebody's gone off ahead of me there. Good. Okay, I'm trying to give him space and he's coming back at me. These two guys are battling out here. You can see this. I'm trying to try to just stay to the inside. I'm not going to catch him. All right. Not even on the first page. Okay, pretty embarrassing right now. Uh, I finished 57 seconds behind the winner. Well, you got to start somewhere, right? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is look back at this video and analyze it. I know from just going through my mind right now that I've got to do something about my setup so that I can break uh, later, but internally I've got to work on being on the gas for less time, uh, being on the brake for less time, and being on the gas for more time. I've got to work on my entries and exits on the turns, and I've got to learn all the braking spots for each turn. It's all on me, right? Not blaming anybody else. So. I'm going to go and make this video, get this editing done, and if you got any comments or questions, let me know. I hope you uh, stay along for the ride on this journey, and hopefully I can win one of these races sooner than later. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.